Skylin, I'm going to start with you because you've had the opportunity to work with some of the best of the best directors on voice performances. Spike Jones, Wes Anderson, I can go on and on. So what is something about the voice acting, directing greats that you think stays consistent? And then what's something about Garth that stands out? I mean, the, you know, working for Wes and Spike, I mean, both of those directors are, are extremely, one thing they share is they're both um, very, very specific uh like they they hear it in their head and i think they know when it sounds right to them like there's a musicality to their to their dialogue um and i yeah i i mean that's that's some i and i love the figuring out of the puzzle of what that is and like helping them kind of even if they can hear it like helping them sort of like put that to the test, you know, and like, <laughs> you know, it's, I, it's a, the pro, the creative process um, is very exciting when a director has, you know, a vision for something or like has like kind of a musical mind in that way. And um, Garth, I think is, you know, he also similarly has like, he knows when the pitch is right of a performance, I think, mm -hmm. um, you know, like he can, he knows when he's got it and he he's always like he listens for the little nuances of, of vocal performance and and like calls them out and appreciates them and like pushes them and stuff like that. He's just he's he's brilliant. He's an amazing writer. And um, I guess that's what the three people have in common. They're all shines through in this yeah. movie quite a bit. <laughs> uh, Tori, so last one was your first feature. Second time around, what is a, a lesson or a takeaway learned making the first thing that you were actually able to apply on this one? Yeah, wow. I, I think I, I mean, I stepped into the first film as just like a complete noob. I was like, I, I don't know what I'm doing, but like, thank you for like hiring me for this is incredible. Um, it's pretty like it was very much a dream role because you know as a singer, it's like I get to sing in the movie. I get to, you know, kind of dip my feet into acting more. And um, so yeah, I guess coming from that, like starting there, and then now doing the second movie, I guess I had just more context for how this all works because it was literally my first, uh, you know, my first time doing a movie. So. It was cool just to like be at the premiere and then see, you know, how it all turned out, meet the cast, like the whole experience experience was great. And then stepping into the second one, it was just a little bit more confidence of like, okay, now I kind of get how this whole thing works. And just, just you know, feeding off of what um, Scarlett was saying about working with Garth, I think just having a director like him and it being, you know, my first movie, and I think for him, his first uh, animated movie as well. And so I feel like we kind of shared that and it was like, two kids just like trying to figure it out and bounce off of each other and um you know just echoing everything that you said about him he's just like a dream to work with so i think that helped me a lot too before they kick me out of here i'm a little obsessed with the fact that you're producing more and more and i love hearing that so i was reading a little bit about the non-black widow mcu thing you're producing and i was just wondering what inspired the drive to keep contributing to the franchise but in that specific capacity and what are you looking forward to bringing to sets as a producer that maybe you wish you had on prior sets um you know i think i've i've, I've worked for 30 years which is insane um when i say it out loud but um i i think i just understand um how production i just i understand the efficiency of how productions run and um what is like how you kind of like thin the fat on a production, I guess, and make things so well oiled. And, um, you know, I've learned that like the fish rots from the head, which is very, very true. And I think any creative space, but particularly like a production that involves, you know, many hundreds of people. And so, um, yeah, just working with people that, you know, want to be there and all want to creatively contribute to the same kind of idea and, uh, you know, making, building that kind of creative family, I think is, is something I'm really excited about um, as I, you know, produce more and more things for other people. Um, you know, I mean, as far as Marvel goes, I, I, you know, it's like working with family there. Marvel has like some of the best IP ever. And so 
um, and you can really dream big there and um, nothing's ever off the table and there's like you kind of throw all these like kind of blue sky ideas around and see what sticks and I just I, I it's like a dream it's like a creative playground that's just like a dream so um yeah and it's again it's like you have I have that shorthand with my fellow creatives there that you know is, comes from being in the world for 10 years with those guys so psyched to see you make the most of that thank you also keep making more of these <laughs> I love it.